the Department of Defense is reforming its business practices for greater performance and affordability. To accomplish this, the department is looking for solutions to eliminate unnecessary complexity for its common use information technology capabilities. As such, the fourth estate network optimization project aims to establish common use networks with the Defense Information Systems Agency as the single service provider charged with controlling costs, driving service excellence, integrating enterprise capabilities, and mitigating security risks to the enterprise. The resulting single service will be called Defense Enclave Services, or DES. The fourth estate network optimization project will consolidate non-secure internet protocol router and secure internet protocol router common use IT networks, process, tools, infrastructure, and contracts. We will achieve this by optimizing processes, standards, and tools, merging service desks, reducing network enclaves, consolidating hardware and software purchases, and providing the use of DoD Enterprise Service capabilities. DISA is taking this mission as an opportunity to create highly functional and scalable networks with a modernized architecture that meets the growing needs of our mission partners. The goal is to create a state-of-the-art customer-centric solution with an industry standard service level agreement as a baseline. We are putting more emphasis on customer support and the reliability of IT services. This refocusing will enable end users to better focus on their essential missions within the DoD. Any mission partner who wishes to subscribe to Defense Enclave Services may do so. There will be a contract ceiling to add more customers to DES as required. The capabilities included in Defense Enclave Services are identified here. The current model has DISA customers subscribing to many of these capabilities through a variety of services and service providers separately. 4ENO will merge the capabilities together in one service, utilizing, in part, a mix of DOD enterprise services, contract services, and government furnished property. At this time, 4ENO does not anticipate splitting these services into multiple contract vehicles or into separate geographic locations. The Request for Information, or RFI, will help inform us of the capabilities of vendors in the commercial marketplace, including whether vendors are able to perform the identified functions at the scale specified across a global footprint. Not all services will be included in the contract. Some will be provided by other DoD enterprise services. The items crossed off are inherently governmental or will be provided by DoD Enterprise Services already available. Let's go through the items individually. Authorization is inherently a government function. DISA will be the authorizing official, or AO, for the network. Contractor support is required to prepare the risk management framework packaging for the AO approval. DISA already provides a cybersecurity service provider service. DISA Enclave Services will manage that service. Defense Enterprise Office Solution will provide collaboration, email, calendar, and contacts. DIOS will also offer personal file storage and collaborative storage for team projects. Defense Collaborative Services, or Global Video Services, will provide web conferencing capabilities and video teleconference. Voice over IP, or DCS, will provide instant messaging, chat, and presence. DIOS will provide office productivity. The current financial system is Defense Agencies Initiative, or DAI, provided by the Defense Logistics Agency. Agencies may require additional financial systems depending on their needs. Keeping those financial systems patched and compliant will continue to be the agency's responsibility. Currently, the fourth estate agencies have separate personnel systems that they operate and maintain. Those systems are outside the authority of DISA. For task management, agencies should be in the process of adopting the Army's Task Management Tool, or TMT, as the standard. 
mobile devices, and wireless services will be acquired through the Navy Spiral 3 contract. However, mobile device management for DES will be provided by DISA. Identity management is a split government and contractor function. The government will set the standards and strategy for public key infrastructure, including the issuance of CACs. However, management and directory services will be contracted. In some circumstances, the contractor will issue the SIPR tokens. The procurement of end devices and network equipment will be done via separate contract actions. The DES provider will plan for the life cycle and technical refresh of the devices, which the government will procure through competitive means. The provisioning and maintenance of the devices will be on contract as a requirement. Circuits will be provisioned through DISA, and JRSS will provide security stacks. Within the new construct, there are additional objectives DISA, as the single service provider, wants to deliver to our mission partners, such as a highly functional and scalable network capable of onboarding new customers as necessary. A capability that allows for digital transformations of organizational and business processes. A focus on turnkey, customer-centric, common-use IT services. A three-day process to deliver fully functional products and services to our subscribers. An emphasis on maximum self-service to provide extended value to our subscribers while reducing costs. And continual service improvement by working with people, processes, and technologies. The future network service should be available from any location and accessible by credentialed users from any government device whenever they need it. DES will establish a secure boundary around the user and the DoD-provided device they are using. This approach will increase the cybersecurity resiliency of the network and make the endpoint device less vulnerable to malicious attacks. This type of endpoint security requires some reconfiguration of network assets and tools. The vision of DISA is an end-to-end -end situational awareness of the whole network to include network availability, problems, and incidents. The end state is full command and control of DES in service to the fourth estate agencies, responding rapidly and effectively to emerging cyber threats. As with all federal and defense procurements, we must adhere to all laws, policies, statutes, memorandums, and regulations that are in effect or will be in effect during the life of the contract. Solutions should keep this in mind as it restricts what we're able to procure. The acquisition strategy has not been developed for this requirement. It's dependent on the capabilities of small and large businesses to fulfill the DES requirements. DISA requests industry comments regarding whether the program objectives and service metrics can be met on a global scale in the proposed time frame. Currently, we are in the requirements gathering phase of the acquisition. We are gathering information, performing business cases, identifying areas of cost reductions and investments, and finalizing the way forward. This schedule is notional and is relatively aggressive. At the beginning of the base year, there will be roughly 15 to 20,000 users supported by the contract. The onboarding of the remaining 300,000 users will be scheduled for later in the base year and the first option year. Points to keep in mind. The Defense Enclave Services is a new service offering and acquisition coming in FY21. This service aims to reduce costs and efficiencies, strengthen cybersecurity across the fourth estate agencies, produce highly functional, scalable networks, provide focused customer service, automate processes and tools, improve service metrics, Thank you for your time and interest in the Defense Enclave Services at the Defense Information Systems Agency. If you have any questions about the program or material presented, please contact these offices. Look for the Defense Enclave Services request for information on FedBizOps at www.fbo.gov in May of 2019, and we look forward to your responses.